Texas Tech looks to make it two in a row. West Virginia looks to get back in the win column. They'll meet tonight in Lubbock. could get a little better shot there, but she was rushed a little bit. And that's something that Coach Marlene Stallings talked about in shoot-around today. I like what the Lady Rays are trying to do here. It's been working. Just Kristen got... Carr with a three. And she brings it home. Someone's got to crash the boards, though, for, for the Lady Raiders. Here's Tiny Smartin, and that's another three for West Virginia. <laughs> Carr intercepts on the inbounds. Let's see if Chrislin can go coast to coast. Slips by, puts up the shot, hits it, and she is fouled. And she would atone for herself, and that's one thing that I think the coaches wanted more out of her team is to, to play hard and play physical. Here's Goodson with a three, and she brings it home. Yeah, a great job of just keeping the ball above her head, above her shoulders, making a little move. She's really improved. But you got to stop Staples. You cannot leave her open like that and let her get an open three, and that's what they did. All right, Smith kicks it out to Tiny Smartin. She's wide open in front of the West Virginia bench and makes a three. And for Tiny Smartin, that's her first point since the first quarter. That's Tiny Smartin trying to get another three. Goodson with the long rebound. Martin reaches in there and knocks the ball away and stops Goodson's flow. But she gives it to Carr, and CC hits it. That's her second three of the night. The three ball is a great equalizer in Texas Tech with four. West Virginia with four makes on the night. And Tech trailing by one here. And boy, firing it right back is Madison Smith. Goodness, Lucky Rillard was is trying to throw it inside. And, and she's intercepted by Chrislin Carr. So she goes rebound. up against Madison Smith and she hits it. Wow, what a play by Chrislin Carr. That's right after you talk about her being the Big 12 freshman of the year potentially, she makes a Big 12 player of the year play. And you'd probably like to have a conversation with him. Here's uh, Brittany Brewer and Brewer off the pass from Sanders, just uses her strong hands and her, just her strong athletic body. And, and there have been seven times where they've had single digit losses in Big 12 play. Goodson with another three and she is feeling it. And finally they busted through. And that, that's okay, they're using up the shot clock. West Virginia, you know, short bench. They're having to play defense the entire possession. There's Madison Smith. You cannot leave her open, and Marlene Stallings, I think, wants a timeout here. Texas Tech looking to win its second or third Big 12 game. Here's Goodson, and she hits it. Wow. Sydney with another three. That's five for her. 15 points. Lady Raiders trying to get back oh, under a, a buck and a half to play, and it's just too easy for Davenport to find underneath the bucket. On the make, I pick up. Car oh. missing. Tiny Smart almost landed out of bounds yeah. there. Boy, if you looked at that again, you might see that. Down to Davenport with 11 seconds to go, and Marlene Stallings going to call timeout, and they'll move the ball to the half-court line. And that's the ball game, and West Virginia is going to win a heartbreaker tonight as they steal tonight a victory 75-72.